What's up guys, today we've got nine holes with the flippiest disc that I have ever thrown. Yeah, that about sums it up really. This is the NSH Custom Disc Ninja. It's a wide rimmed, double rimmed, high speed, very understable distance driver. I will say I have thrown some discs that may be more understable than this, but they were all like 120 grams. This is 171. As you can see, this is just about max weight and it is, uh, you'll see, it's very flippy. Starting off on hole one, short par three, I'm gonna hit this on a good amount of hyzer at the left side and uh, hope we don't cut roll OB. Hit some touch on this. Okay, that's usable. At lower speeds, I'm telling you, just because it is so fast, it will bite some. Like I said, we'll still be putting with the marble today. Um, we almost went out about long, just kind of ran into some debris here. I will say, if you can use your powers for good and kind of harness the power of the ninja, it goes incredibly far. That was a bad putt. If you're already thinking to yourself, eh, that doesn't look that understable. Two more holes till we're on a par four. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm insane. We're going to go knife hyzer, super touchy hyzer flip forehand on this hole. The last six times I've played this course, I have been in that bush. Also utilizing this as my uh, unfinished business challenge round. Check out my podcast, Unfinished Business. We're on distance drivers this week, and I am, uh, what you could say, throwing for content, probably. We're just par guys, though. We like pars. We can't be over par this early. I love those wideout marbles. Thanks, Birdie. All right, this hole sucks to film, but we just need to get out this gap and finish to the left, which for this disc means a forehand on a good amount of hyzer. Okay, that was kind of sick. Oh my goodness, this branch comes down so low. I needed like a left-handed dad putt for that. All right, all right, here's what you sickos came to see, and you'll believe me now. I'm gonna hit this hard on as vertical of a hyzer as I can through this gap, and we'll see where it rolls to. I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> instant. That could be incredible for this hole though, watch out. I have no idea where that went. Chat, where did my disc go? All right, update, it did not cut roll, but it did take me 20 years to find. So, um, we're down here though. <laughs> oh, it's coming back. Didn't fight through. So I somehow once again lost connection to the wireless mic here. Don't worry, we'll get it back in just a second. But the goal here was to start this left of that mando tree, have it turn all the way over and roll to the pin, which I thought I executed perfectly, except I missed the mando and it was pretty short. Nobody said anything about the mando, okay? So I did have this fraudulent eagle bid, but I'll have to settle for a fraudulent birdie. Hole A of the extra holes here was another hole I was extremely excited to throw the ninja on. And at one point, this was an insane shot for this hole. As we're now saying goodbye to the pole that we were just by and rolling almost out of frame of the camera. And unfortunately for me, I am not Ganon Burr, so 70 to 80 footers don't just fall in the basket for me. After the A hole, we have the B hole. This is one that I was very scared of going into it. But again, what I'm finding is this is so fast at low speeds, it does have a good amount of stability to it. This was also filmed just a day after I did my third episode of trying to shoot a thousand rated. And I was very frustrated. I was putting so well in this round and so poorly in that one. Hole C has me taking another stock backhand hyzer hole and attempting a hyzer flip to turn forehand and for those at home counting I have missed two mandos now and threw in a nexus shot mainly to remind myself I am somewhat confident at disc golf still. All right this is actually the most unlikely birdie. Disc that needs a ton of fairway to work with, hole with a double mando. Oh yeah almost made that fly like a normal disc golf disc. This disc unironically though is so much fun to throw. Not sure if this is inside or outside, so we'll pretend it's inside. Usually I say that and it misses and I roll away, but today I'm the GOAT. A little bit of headwind here on the Dream Ace hole. This disc getting headwind or not gonna be friends. You know, back to the slight hyzer on the left side, 43% power, I'm a robot, I can do that. Oh, just sit now. I figured it out, fellas. Downside is it's a 13 speed rim. So we are, uh, 
definitely outside the circle here. And if I make this putt, I'm saying that my last thousand rated attempt was completely fraudulent because apparently I'm just the best putter of all time. Okay, I'm human. It's all okay. And if you haven't yet, please do check out NSH Custom Discs. They are the best sponsor I could ever ask for. They provide a lot of interesting, unique 3D printed products like the Ninjai. You can use code URSA10 for 10% off any of those molds. And obviously doesn't work on any of the signature stuff, but if you really want to support me, the best way is the URSA Nexus. And here is the profile of the Ninjai. Like I said, very, very sloped down, understable. Has that double rim. You really don't notice it, especially with the rim this big on the main rim, but super interesting disc, super fun to throw. And we're gonna do something stupid. We're gonna see how this reacts to a, a nice thumber over the top. That might be gone forever. You guys do not wanna know the things that I had to do and see to get this disc back to this spot. That's all I'm gonna say. Some things, it just wants to roll on every shot. Some things are better left up between a man and God. All right, I think we're done with thumbers for today. Gonna go back to the like 40% hyzer release. That's been working. Oh, that's way too hard. <laughs> that was not 40%. All right, here's a new patented shot. Low, punchy, hyzer flip forehand. Didn't really flip, but I mean, that wasn't terrible. Oh, and one thing I always forget to mention, all of NSH Customist molds are PDG approved. So if you are a tournament player, never fear, you will not get in trouble or called out for using any of NSH this molds. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that BS. And more importantly than anything, go check out NSH Custom Disc, PDG approved 3D printed custom disc signature series for some of your favorite creators, such as myself, as well as just some incredibly fun, wacky disc double rims. They're very good at very overstable and very understable. So if you're looking for anything on those sides of the spectrum, NSH usually has you covered. I also love their putter lineup. Some of the best throwing putters, obviously my name's on one. Hole nine short is probably the hardest hole on this layout, especially for this disc. Again, I think I'm just gonna knife hyzer, lower power on this right side and hope I can get some finish back with the Ninja. Also somebody walking a dog on the right side. So now I really hope I don't finish right with the Ninja. Like if you hit it smooth, low power like that, like that has to be one of the best new player discs of all time. All right, last chance for a ninja I throw in. Here it is. Skip throw in. Just parked for par. Park for par T-shirt. Park for par T-shirts coming to you. Let me know if you want one. Holy fuck.